Hello there, Glyn Jewish from glynjewish.com here with a quick Photoshop editing technique for you that I generally use when I'm editing fashion and beauty images and that involves lengthening the neck. I think it's fair to say now that most magazines and newspapers where we see pictures of female models, rightly or wrongly a long slender neck is generally viewed as being more feminine. So you wouldn't be wrong in thinking that in these publications some form of artificial lengthening of the neck has actually been done during the editing process. So I thought I'd show you my technique that I use for generally doing just that. It's three simple steps for lengthening the neck. Okay, so step one, using our rectangular marquee tool, we're gonna to make a couple of selections. The first selection, is going to be the top portion of the photograph and coming down just below our model's chin. So if I just zoom in for you, we can see now that the marching ants are just below our model's chin. We're then gonna to go to the top of our menu bar and go layer, new, and layer via copy. If we come over to our layers panel, we can see that that top part selection has now been put onto its own layer and we're gonna call that head. We're then gonna reselect our background layer this time again using the rectangular marquee tool we're going to make a selection but this time of an area that includes the neck but that we're not going to go any lower than just above the shoulder line. So if we now just zoom in I can show you that the marching ants are including the neck but they're just above the shoulder line here. And again we're then going to go layer, new and layer via copy so that over in the, in the layers panel that selection now is put onto its own layer as well. And we'll call that neck. Okay, so stage two, or step two, we're now going to select the head layer, and we're gonna press V on our keyboard to get the move tool. Then using our up arrow, we're gonna maybe go four or five clicks, one, two, three, four, five, and if we zoom in, we'll see what that's done. It's basically moved the head layer slightly higher now away from the original. The final stage, we're gonna select the neck layer, and we're gonna to go to edit, and free transform to bring up these adjustment handles here. And all we shall do then is using the top uh, selection handle here, we're gonna move that upwards until the bottom portion of the photograph joins the top so that we can't see any join at all. And when we do that, we're gonna press enter to commit that and we'll just zoom out. So now we'll show you we've got before and after, before and after. So it's nice and seamless, very, very quick and easy. The question always arises with something when we like when we do this, can it be done with a model that's got a lot of hair? Because clearly this one here hasn't and the neck is very easily exposed. Well, let's give it a go. Here we've got a model with longer hair which actually comes over her shoulders. So let's give the process a go. Step one, rectangular marquee tool and we're gonna make a selection of the top portion of the image just below our model's chin. And we're gonna put that layer up on its own, or sorry, that selection up on its own layer. I'm gonna call that head. Next thing we want to do, again, using the rectangular marquee tool, we're gonna to make a selection that encompasses our model's neck, but slightly above the model's shoulders, like so. And we're gonna press that up onto its own layer as well, and we're gonna call that neck. Then, selecting the head layer and using our up arrow, we're gonna go maybe four or five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. Let's just go one, two, three, four, five, and we can just zoom in to see what that's done. We're then going to select our neck layer, go edit, free transform, and using the up top handle, we're gonna bring those two layers together so we can't see the join, and press enter. So there we go, and we'll just zoom out just a little bit. So we can see now the before and the after, the before and the after. So there you have it, three very, very simple, quick and easy steps to lengthening the neck of your model. Now, of course, to give you any advice when you're doing this neck lengthening, it would be a case of less is more because if you do this too much it's going to make it look like your model has been through some medieval torture chamber but also by doing it too much you're then going to start to see some damaged pixels so it's going to be really obvious that you've been actually retouching in this way so there you have it three simple steps neck lengthening hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again next time <laughs>